Hi, my name is Ty Hadarali. I want to speak to you today about the exciting topic of arbitration agreements. And there's actually some really interesting developments in this area. Arbitration agreements are the bane of an employee's existence in the uh, when they've been subjected to discrimination or sexual harassment. Uh, my firm, Hyderal & Associates, we are a plaintiff's firm that concentrates in employment law in New Jersey and New York. All right, so the seminal case was decided back in 1985, a long time ago, I know, uh, Woolley versus Hoffman LaRoche. And in that case, uh, it really stood for the proposition that, hey, company, you have a handbook. Uh, you better have in there some prominent language on the first page of the handbook that says uh, this is not an employment contract and that your employees are still at will employees or else or else um, your employee could contend that some of the provisions in the handbook are contractual and sue you over you breaching some of the um, some of the provisions of the handbook. So after 1985, a lot of companies uh, changed their handbooks. They added this disclaimer language that said, this isn't a contract. Uh, it's not binding. You can't, you don't have any rights under it. You're not will employee, blah, 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 right? They said all this stuff thinking, okay, we, the company are now protected. Well, some companies also put in arbitration agreements in this handbook that said, hey, listen, if you get, uh, if you feel that you're the victim of discrimination, a sexual harassment, a whistleblower, whatever it is, and you want to sue us, you can't go to a court of law, you can't have a jury trial, you have to go to mandatory arbitration. And there's a lot of benefits, uh, perceived benefits to mandatory arbitration from employers, uh, so they would love nothing more than to strip an employee of their rights to a jury trial. Okay, so they have in the handbooks a provision that says uh, no arbitration, uh, I'm sorry, mandatory arbitration. It's not an uh, not an employment contract, right? So they have kind of these two things in the same document. Employee signs the handbook, they work, they're subject to discrimination. Um, so an employee files a lawsuit in Passaic County, New Jersey, uh, not that long ago. And the employee contends that they were the victim of discrimination in the workplace. While the employer says, well, wait a second, we have this handbook, and uh, in the handbook, it has mandatory arbitration language. So employee, you can't sue us in court, uh, you have to sue us in arbitration. And the judge in the matter, Frank Ravella, Judge Ravella, uh, initially when he got this motion to dismiss, granted it and said, uh, they're right, you have to, uh, you have to, you have to file uh, in arbitration with the AAA. Uh, well, plaintiff's lawyer was very creative. Plaintiff's lawyer said, well, wait a second, in that same document where they're trying to mandate my client to go to arbitration, they have this language, this disclaimer language that says it's not an employment contract. Uh, it doesn't, comp it doesn't, uh, it doesn't create any sort of contractual obligation between employer and employee. Well, if that's the case, if it's not an employment contract, how can they now say my client is contractually obligated to go to arbitration? And so the plaintiff's lawyer filed a motion for reconsideration before the same judge, Judge Ravello. And Judge Ravello heard the arguments and thought, wait a second, that's a good argument. You can't have it both ways, employer. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Uh, so in this case, you're the one who put in that language saying it's not a contract of employment. So guess what? It's not a contract of employment. Motion denied. The plaintiff can file his uh, litigation uh, in Passaic County with the courts, they're not stripped, he's not stripped of his rights to pursue it's a religious discrimination case in that matter. Uh, case continues. So uh, a great victory for employees and very sound reasoning by Judge Ravallo. This is Ty Hyderali. Be safe and be well.